In 2020, the Green Team celebrated 25 years of delivering environmental youth work. My name is Penny Radway, Chief Executive of the Green Team, and we would like to share with you some memories and achievements of the last 25 years. Here's Peter Wright, the founder of the Green Team, explaining what the Green Team means to him. Well, the Green Team community is, is based around an idea that young people want to get involved in nature, wild places, and the community that then takes that forward has got energy, enthusiasm, imagination, a great way with young people and children. The core staff, some of whom have been involved for quite some time, are just the salt of the earth. They truly are. They're, you know, um, they're absolutely committed and motivated and uh, that rubs off. So it's, it's, it's a number of different things coming together in this rather unique way. The Green Team began life way back in 1995 as a project of the Duke of Edinburgh's award and as a pilot for the John Muir Award. This was around the time of Agenda 21 and the idea that people should think global but act local. At that time, there were no environmental volunteering opportunities for young people to do something local and positive for their community. Here's a photograph from the Green Team launch in 1995. Our first and original programme was Green Volunteers, supporting young people through DV sections. In 2002, we launched Green Tomorrows, now called Green Shoots, as a way of reaching young people who couldn't or wouldn't get involved in a weekend programme. In 2008, we launched the Green Angels programme as part of our Working With Difference campaign. Organisations such as Sahelia and Blackhall Mosque were some of our early partners. In 2014, the Green Team was awarded an RSPB Nature of Scotland Award for our contribution to youth and education. To celebrate our 20th birthday, we planted a Green Team Wildwood at Glen Lude as part of the John Muir Trust's restoration of native woodland at this border's site. In 2020, our 25th anniversary year, we were delighted to be shortlisted for the SCVO Scottish Charity of the Year Award. Lorna Street has been involved with the Green Team for over 12 years and is currently chair of the board. She shared her thoughts about how important and beneficial our relationship with nature is. You know, it is just so important from, from actually, you know, valuing the environment and how it supports life on Earth, providing some education and some real sort of life experience of that connection to, you know, just the benefit that people get from, from being outside and, and how that can really, really lift your mood and just really help you. We all believe, really, really firmly believe that. And the idea is to sort of try and share the ability to, to take solace from, from your, you know, from natural surroundings. I was looking at some research that had shown that, you know, if you, like just sort of watching natural phenomena, so like the rustling of leaves or, you know, the waves on the shore or something, that, that there's something in our brains that responds to that. And we can quite naturally become fascinated. With, with sort of watching natural dynamics of, of things and uh, that was really really interesting because that really sort of hit home it's like you can actually you know you can it's really easy to relax outside. Hamish Wood has described how being outside has the ability to lift your spirit. I mean for me I guess I, I love hill walking and you know you get the you get the perfect day where whether it's a summer or winter's day but you've got you can see for miles, the, the sun's out, you've got clear blue skies and everything seems to be right. And okay, you may only get two of these out of every 10 days you go walking, but even if you're walking in pelting rain, you can see 50 yards. There's still something about being outside that just makes you feel good, it lifts your spirit. Margon, our education officer who joined us in 2000 as a volunteer, talked about the long-term connection with the Green Team that many of us have had over the years. So many of the members of staff and some volunteers have been around for a long time, so it must, must mean that we kind of believe in it. So I think those kind of achievements and all the, the people that have maybe passed through Green Team 
a young person and then a volunteer and then now they are working in the fields. I always think, you know, even the children I work with in primary school, I, I don't really know what positive effects I might have had on, on some of them. The Green Team has a fantastic track record of encouraging young people to get involved in outdoor learning and practical improvements to local green spaces. Since 1995, we estimate that over 7,000 young people have been involved in our projects. Over the last 25 years, we've been supported by some fantastic and dedicated volunteers. Their contribution has enabled the delivery of hundreds of projects, and it's been a pleasure to work with such lovely people, many of whom have been involved for many years. Here are some of our staff, volunteers and participants talking about their fondest memories with the Green Team. My name is Imogen and what I really like about the Green Team is that you get to explore new places and see new animals each time and we get to make the place better. Mandy Craig, Volunteer Coordinator, would like to congratulate the Green Team. Well done Green Team, 25 years, nature connection with young people, fantastic. Lisa Talbot discussed her favourite moments with the Green Team. Some of my favourite moments when volunteering with the Green Team are those little moments of realisation when young people just are all of a sudden very aware that they can do more than they ever thought possible, whether that's lighting their own fire or climbing a tree or planting a tree. It's like all they needed was a chance and that's what the Green Team has been doing for 25 years. Jamie Leach, Business Development Manager, has this to say. Just want to say a very happy 25th birthday to the Green Team. It's been lovely to be part of the organisation and see all the good work that's going on and the really positive impact that has upon the young people that we're working with. So big thank you to everyone who's been involved for the last 25 years and best wishes for the next 25. We have accomplished so much over these past 25 years and Peter Wright shared with us his concluding thoughts about the overall growth of the Green Team. Uh, it, it, it's tremendous, you know, what started as just an idea, just grown, blossomed and flourished and okay, it's gone through all the ups and downs that every organisation encounters um, for all sorts of different reasons, but it's, it's, it's come through all of them, always come out stronger and it enriches so many lives. Thank you for watching. I saw some creatures on the way I got smiles from the trout Cause we pulled the litter out And the ducks had comfiness in which to lay Evergreen, oh evergreen Cause a leaf without a tree don't make a bee But the green team ever flies Wild places, wild times and the wilderness